Emma Gordon, and I'm a senior. And I'm Kayla Call, and I'm a junior, and we both go to Eastlake High School. So for our BioExo project, we decided to do the lab research category, and we decided to try to isolate a bacteriophage from a soil sample. The reason that we chose this topic was because we were interested in bacterial diseases, especially viruses and that kind of thing, and how they utilize the host cell to replicate their own DNA. And also, Ms. Martinez suggested that we do research on bacteriophages because we were also interested in discovering something, and I said new bacteriophage is feasible for high school students. And what we discovered in our research was that a bacteriophage is a virus that infects bacteria, and it is made up of a capsid with a tail. And the capsid is a head part that's kind of shaped like a, a six-sided shape and it has it contains the DNA or RNA and the tail is hollow and when the bacteriophage um, attaches to a bacteria it injects its nucleic acid through the tail the hollow tail and most of them are novel so many have not been discovered and so for our experiment, which um, consisted of isolating a bacteriophage from a soil sample, plating it on a plate of some sort of bacteria, um, and then isolating those plaques, we decided to use Mycobacterium smegmatis because of its striking similarity to tuberculosis. Also, it's a mycobacterium, and we wanted to isolate a mycobacteriophage. Um, this this um, bacteria is usually found in soil around like that exists around large bodies of water so when we collected our soil samples we collected them from a nearby lake called pine lake um, in the hopes that the bacteriophage there would have been exposed to this type of bacteria already and another thing about this uh, bacteria is that it's non-pathogenic so it's relatively safe to use in the lab um, so our goal from our lab was to create a plaque and a plaque is just a spot where a bacteria colony has been dissolved, kind of. So that would mean that a bacteria phage was present. And our original plan was DNA sequencing and, and to find out if it was a new bacteria phage. But unfortunately, we never got to that. And so what we had to do is we had to improvise a little bit. The original auger that we wanted to use um, was originally developed for slant cultures and we decided to use it because it's what our bacteria came from when we ordered it. And it's called Lone St. Jensen medium, but the thing about that is um, it has albumin in it, which is egg whites, and to solidify the plates we would have had to heat them up or cook them in some way, but the way they did it in there, like in the recipe, was immersing it in a water bath, but you can't immerse a plate in a water bath. So we had to improvise, and what we did instead was we made the Lowenstein Jensen medium without the albumin in it, and we just added agarose powder to it, agarose gel powder, so that they would solidify. And so that's what we did, and these are our plates um, when we, after we poured them. As you can see, they're blue colored, and that was due to the malachite green that we added. It was in the recipe, so yeah, that's why they're blue. And so our plates ended up not working. Um, we had a lot of problems throughout our <laughs> lab. Um, first of all, we were way too set on using a procedure that we found online through Western Kentucky University. Um, it had it had all the steps that we needed, but we realized pretty soon after we started that we were not going to have the same materials that they used. So we had to change almost everything. <laughs> um, we kept having to ordering new things and waiting for them to arrive just took a lot of time and so we didn't get to grow bacteria. <laughs> yeah, and well, part of the reason our bacteria didn't grow was also part of our struggles making our liquid culture of the m -Smeg. We um, didn't fully understand that we needed to add tween to it to prevent bacterial clumping. So we predict 
we're not positive because we couldn't test it, but we think that's one of the, another reason why our bacteria couldn't grow on our plates. <laughs> and so, like, what we learned from this is that you're not always going to end up with your expected results. And we didn't end up being able to plate our bacteria phage or isolate the, the plaque, but we did learn a lot about just like general lab skills and what you have to do to be an actual scientist when things don't work out. And we also have to learn um, that it's really important to keep an open mind in our lab work because you're not always going to be able to follow the exact procedure that you want. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed learning about our project.